Spokane's first attempt at discouraging illegal dogfighting here has proven successful in Superior Court. That's where today two men were convicted of training pit bulls for their sometimes fatal battles in the ring. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey is live with a look at the verdicts tonight. Jeff? You know, Dave, this was largely a circumstantial case that failed to connect the defendants to any established dogfighting ring. But all of the equipment and the dogfighting paraphernalia seized from their home was so drastically different from what most pet owners are familiar with. The jury agreed with prosecutors Peter Nelson and Alfredo Renteria, both convicted of dogfighting and maintaining an illegal kennel. Jurors were shown a canine treadmill and heavy chains used to make the pit bull stronger. Testimony also showed the eight dog seats from the house had signs and scars that indicated they had already been fought. There was also this tattoo that covered Nelson's entire back, depicting two pit bulls fighting to the death, and the caption, only the strong will survive. I think the message is that we will not tolerate dog, dog fighting in our community. Dog fighting is is a form of animal cruelty and it's unacceptable in our society today. Nelson and Renteria face no more than 12 months in the county jail but could have to pay the cost of keeping their dogs locked up in the pound pending the outcome of this trial. Reporting in the courthouse, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.